you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, as a parliament, we do have the responsibility uh, to ensure that New Zealand's legislation is relevant to the uh, context of our times. And sometimes this may mean tweaking acts to bring them into line with technology that hasn't uh, been developed uh, when they were originally passed. And this is what, uh, it seems to me, Dr Jackie Blue's bill aims to do in amending the Consumer Guarantees Act 2000, uh, 1993. And for this reason, as my colleague Carol Beaumont has said, uh, Labor will support it, at least to a select committee. It is a sensible bill. Uh, it ensures the principle of protecting consumers is upheld in our modern day and age. And I think it's important to note in passing that uh, uh, the National Party backbenchers from the speeches that have been given so far seem to be more onto it with consumer affairs issues than the Minister Heather Roy, who has proven only through the document that my colleague referred to earlier that she thinks the complexity of the issues involved is an excuse not to act. Sir, one of the technological uh, developments that we have to be mindful of uh, in this context is online bidding on sites like TradeMe. Uh, this has become increasingly popular in recent years with many professional sellers effectively choosing to sell their goods and services via such sites. These sites have moved beyond just being fora for individuals to sell second-hand goods. And with the increasing popularity of competitive online bidding, we've seen the inconsistencies that other speakers have emerged to. Uh, have, have referred to. The, the Act was passed in 1993. It incorporates principles uh, which I think uh, have broad support across the House, the protection of the consumer when buying goods. But the current situation where in online bidding uh, there was uh, no such equivalent at the time that the uh, Act was passed, so of course no consideration could be given to how the Act's aims could be achieved in that context. Uh, as uh, an earlier speaker said, one of the inconsistencies raised in the bill and dealt with by it is the fact that on sites like TradeMe, consumers are protect protected if they purchase goods in one way but not in another. So if there's a bicycle for sale on the site, a buyer is protected by the Consumer Guarantees Act if they hit the Buy Now button, but not if they win through a series of bids. So the bill will remedy that by amending existing Section 41, add a new subsection 4 to clarify that the rights of the consumers under the Act will apply to the supply of goods and services through a competitive bidding process in an online trading facility. So in this way, the original intent of the Act of protecting all consumers will be brought into line with the reality of online trading and its increased popularity, sir. Sir, the bill also seeks to improve the Consumer Guarantees Act in relation to extended warranties. Generally, these are sold to consumers who buy electrical appliances like fridges or washing machines, but despite the name, they generally don't give consumers any more rights than they'd already have under the Act. So the bill would insert new sections 15A and B to require suppliers to disclose any extra benefits as a result of uh, offering a, an extended warranty to consumers. That makes for a fairer situation for them where they are able to assess whether or not to pay more on the basis of quality rather than the attractive sound of a so-called extended warranty which may not actually give them any extra protection as a consumer. It also allows for uh, an innovation that's common now in New South Wales and other jurisdictions, a cooling off period immediately after the purchase of an extended warranty so consumers can have fair time to consider whether they really wanted to make uh, the purchase that they have under this legislation preliminarily concluded. So sir, all in all, it's a, it seems to be a sensible bill, tweaks the Act to make it fairer and more relevant to the way that our country works today. Uh, the member has done a good job and should be congratulated. But I must ask why the government is so willing to make changes in this area when they're currently uh, failing at the moment to offer support to my colleague Carol Beaumont and her loan sharks bill because it's, quote, an area under consideration, end quote. And unfortunately, I'm left with the conclusion that the government places petty politics above the importance of protecting our most vulnerable consumers. It would be really nice to be proven wrong in two weeks' time at the next Members' Day.